I believe anything you want to achieve, no matter how big it is, is possible. And I know a lot of people use this as a generic thing, but it's so powerful how your thoughts really manifest into reality. And no matter what you want, as soon as you set the intention and you write it down and you, you know what it is you want, the universe will clear a beautiful path for you and will make sure you get to where you need to get if you stay positive and, you know, you stay on the right path. Do you really want something new then stop them from coming through because they're bringing out the banger that no one is bopping to and they'll be popping and locking to everything that I'm dropping and if I'm flopping I'm dropping the hottest record on you did I tell anybody to move when I'm in the room did I make anybody freeze when I drop a tune did I make anybody hit the floor when I'm on the stage linking at the play they be dying to see me in a day yeah do you really 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 want it because if you really 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 want it I'm gonna jump off the building and fly through the air with the wings that I'm building and see you in the future when I pass the present to you get it past present to you when I see you in the future if you haven't got it by the time that I see it, I'll be waving. I see it fly the rest over your head. The girl is the Lisa. She releasing a teaser of a new clip and she be naming it. I'm a sucker more teaser than she suck him and leave him. Because he holding it down, she be having trouble breathing. And she be getting dizzy like she be popping on weaving. I'm artist. I'm an entertainer. I beatbox. <laughs> I would say I've been drawing pretty much my whole life. And that's about it. Hi guys. Hi. The name of the band? Luminite. The concept of the band was so unique and it hadn't been done in the UK. As the profile of the band was building, um, I was still busking and someone filmed me beatboxing in London and uploaded a video, tagged me on uh, Twitter and Instagram. And one day I woke up and my Twitter was going crazy and I didn't know why. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, like, I'm, I've just gained like a thousand followers. Where did that come from? And that's when it went unbelievably crazy. And then it just kept climbing and climbing. My Twitter went from like 2,000 followers to like 17K in less than a year. Then it got to a point where I was still in this band and unfortunately there was a bit of bitterness in the band about the amount of followers that I had. Some people felt it was unfair that we was about to go on Britain's Got Talent and I would had a crazy amount of followers. Apparently it didn't look fair on the band. So we all had a meeting and everyone seemed to agree that we should delete our own social medias. And then it got to a point where because I believed in the project so much, I decided to delete my Instagram and my Twitter so I was like, we need to blow. The way things were going in the industry, I really thought that when we got signed to Sony, it was gonna really go uphill and it just didn't. I'll be honest, it didn't go the way we thought it was. I would say that was the time where I felt the most fame. Look. I go from peed out to pissed off, peed out to pissed off, peed out to pissed off, and that shit is drastic. Please do not chat shit, please do not chat shit, please do not chat shit, cause that shit is ratchet. I'm peed out to pissed off, peed out to pissed off, peed out to pissed off, and that shit is drastic. Please do not chat shit, please do not chat shit, please do not chat shit, cause that shit is ratchet. Your girlfriend is plastic. After the band, it kind of went downhill from there because I had to start again, you know, from scratch. Luckily enough, I could live a normal life after that because the worst thing is to get to a level of um, success and then fall off. It was a big struggle, a massive struggle because, like I said, I had to start from scratch. <laughs> Every 
everything revolves around balance. I find that sometimes when I'm focusing on earning money, I'm not, I'm not as creative. Sometimes when I'm really creative, I'm not financially secure. I'm now finding a way to get that balance and if I can get that balance really well, I feel like my weaknesses will disappear. Some people don't understand that you can't be there for someone all the time when you're trying to be successful and trying to work. Yeah, I've had to really push away negative people um, and make sure that even people that I really liked and people that I wanted to be around, they wasn't good for my energy. So I had to just sacrifice certain things like that and just let it go. I honestly believe everybody has something that can change the world. I feel like I'm fortunate enough to be given skills that can inspire people and make them want to, you know, be active and use their brain in certain ways that they wouldn't usually, you know, through a textbook or reading or writing.